when I ranted and went to go live with my mom. After I cheated on people, I needed and lied trying to hide from the guy that I was. Then I got... Tell them, Tom. They want to welcome you back to another edition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Now, y'all going to have to make up your mind on these masks. Try to do the right thing, put the mask on, go to the store. Mass confusion and chaos when I walk in. It, I mean, is it the color of my skin? I mean, are you profiling me? What's going on here? I'm trying to keep people safe, and, you know, I'm about tired of it. Neither here nor there. Glad you're with us today at Sober by Tom McDonald. I told him play it every day. Lady messaged me yesterday. I'm not comfortable, you know, with you. I, well, well, that, take your ass on. Go on, son. If you can't come here, this, see, this is your safe space. That's why I'm here. Your safe space. If you scared, drive down to Green Coast Springs, son. Get in my back pocket. There ain't nowhere safer on this planet. Neither here nor there. Anyway, today, I got a new box in. About to go broke on this new box thing, so we probably going to have to back off that a minute. I'm going to let you into the war room. I'm going to show you a few things that's still in disarray because pretty much I'm kind of lazy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not. That's not true. Uh, I'm creative. Okay? But I do got a new product for you today. I'm just going to grab it. It's right here. I ain't going to go through the whole box and thing. And then what I'm going to do is take a quick minute, show you what I carry in my pocket, my everyday carry type thing. Uh, then we're going to go a little later on here to the church, you know, because I, I figured, you know, y'all got to have something to bitch about. So I'll go down there and we'll do a little clean. When I get down there, I'm going to throw some tomahawks, show you how to do that. I want to address this real quick. I've had a couple people ask me, Scab, how do you get so good looking? Well, ask genetics. Next question. Scab, you ever thought about showing us how to use them knives? But because you can type in knife fighting pair it up son a good friend of mine Damon did ask yes Damon we're going to do a couple things he's a martial arts guy um, may even have him on and demonstrate some stuff uh, but right now we're just having a little fun and Damon knows I'm kind of picking at him uh, I know how to use a knife I've stabbed three, four, five people with it Again, I digress. I get on these things just go nuts. What I got today is the cold steel. That's, that's got to be shocking that it's a cold steel product. Cold steel Scottish basket hilt sword. Let me grab that for you. I think you'll enjoy it. Let's put a little more time before we do that. That way you just talk amongst yourself. One second. Appreciate that. As Tom, I understand uh, that's his girlfriend or wife, Nova, Nova Rockefeller, I believe. She sings with him and then Mad Dog's on there. Mad Child, something. I don't know. He's mad. All right. <clears throat> Real quick, I'll, I'll back up and give it to you. The Basket Hill Broadsword. I, you know, I've read a couple different things. Some people say it's Broadsword. I, it, it's not a Claymore. Claymore about the size of your house. This thing right here, son, is gorgeous. Got a nice scabbard. Got a little thingy we can hook on our belt. Not gonna do that, but we could if we wanted to. All right, here it is. Uh, 31 inch blade length, double sharpened. Both sides are sharpened down to about here. And here. The bottom portion is for uh, pairing, that kind of thing. You know, if I stand like this, you know, I can block, 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 stab my damn foot, block up high, thrust, that type of deal. I've been taking that kind of thing. I'll show you some, some clips of that later. This is 50. No, it ain't. I just told you a story again. I'm bad about that. It's made from 1055 steel. 
It's the same stuff they put in their machetes. I guess it's just hardened a different Rockwell hardness. Um, it has a great, 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 great point. I love this point. Because I can run it right through you, son. Done. The basket hilt, okay? Right here, let me give you a good close-up of this. You don't stab the wall. Megan's on the way home. That's why I'm trying to hurt here. Basket hilt. Got some nice felt. You know, because you're going to get in a sword fight, you got to have some felt. Got to protect your hand. All right? So that's what we got going on. Um, give you a good try at basket hilt. Now, this, this stuff right here, I don't know what this is. I don't know if I, you know. Throw y'all balance with I don't know. I don't know, but I know this. I got a little knobby right here. That will knock your brains out, son. You hear me? So if you come at me, I pow, hit you with the basket hilt, pow, hit you with this, and then stab you. That's exciting. Probably never make a dime on this video. Um, so here it is. The cold steel basket hilt. It is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let me, get, let me get a shot at this handle here. All right, right in here, you got this handle. This is ray skin, okay? And that's wire. And you can feel that wire, son, I guarantee you. It's not uncomfortable. It just, you know, lets you know you need to go on in there and, and get it done. You want to stab somebody? Go ahead and do it pretty quick. Get them out of the way. Get them gone. All right, let's put this down. Day carry. That's something you carry every day, okay? First thing I carry every day in my life is a fixed blade. Again, I'm gonna tell y'all just like this. I have, I'm gonna fix this suspender there. I have, I work outside, I work with utilities, um, in some pretty rough areas, in some wooded areas, that kind of thing, urban environment. This right here, this right here is a Miller custom made knife. My Carta handles, okay? Uh, I believe it's the uh, Crucible metal, Crucible powder metal, CPM 154, it's a stainless. Look at that, look at that blade there. See that? Y'all see that? See that? See that? This knife was given to me by Kirk Weiss. This night, this is one of the few things that I can tell you in my life that I had a connection with when I when I when I first held it. I say Kirk gave it to me. I pretty much stole it. It is what it is. The micarta handles are pinned in. See that? See the pin? And then he does a good job. I put a lanyard on this too. See, cause I put that lanyard on there. I, I, I don't want my shirt to come open. Y'all don't either. So I can spin that thing around, come at you any kind of direction I want. Just keep you blinded. All right. Again, let me show you another look at this. The, oh, the other thing I was going to show you. The the little thing you see here. See the red? We got the stainless steel and then the little red liner and then the micarta. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I need to clean it up. The blade I did have professionally done. Took it to a Japanese style, you know, right out of there. Um got work does that does a jam up job son he really does mark does a great job uh does the whole thing you know puts on the japanese thing gets on it i, I decline to sit in on all that but you know i'll take his word for it you know what i'm saying so i carry that that's the first thing i carry then that that, that would be a primary i don't say primary weapon you know primary tool let's do that uh, the next thing that, that I carry, Russia, that's always in one of my pockets. It's got this wave technology. I mean, I'm going to show you this wave technology, okay? Make sure I don't trip. All right. So, basically, I put it in this pocket here. Basically, what it is, is I reach in my pocket here like this. See that? Now, that is my 
uh, secondary. Now, watch this hand here. Watch. Bing! Emerson CQC 8. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal uh, knife. One of my favorites. So we got the CQC 8. Give you a good shot of that. With the wave technology. See the wave technology here. Then the other thing, that's, okay, so what's that? Three knives there. Um, got to step out and go ahead and get my shirt on. So I carry those three things. I'm not going to do a disappearing act, I promise you. Come down and make it show up. It ain't nothing like that. So as we're getting ready to go here, let me show you the other thing that I carry. Other couple things that I carry. Cold steel. Again, cold steel, of course. Could it be anything else? It's called the hideout, okay? I have one of these on me at all time. Back pocket, side pocket, cargo pocket, something like that. I make sure I have one for a multitude of purposes. You know, I may want to throw it. I may want to stab you with it. I don't know, but I got it. Um, I say got it. I got several. Y'all don't need to know how many I have. I got plenty. All right, we're about the 12-minute mark. Ah, probably help if I didn't have to wear this stupid mask. Let's take this thing off. Mo better, mo better. Beard a little, I gotta get that thing trimmed up some. All right, so that's what I carry on me. Oh, last thing, I carry this little ditty right here. The push knife. Safe, what is this? The Safe Maker One. This makes me safe. This bad boy, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a convex, flat bottom the bottom's flat and then kind of an angled let me see if i can do it better this way no all right basically it's cold steel safe maker pull this thing now now there is only one purpose on this planet for this knife only one that is if i'm sitting at the table and can't reach something got it you know what I'm saying? That's what it's for. It's certainly not a weapon. That's bullshit. It's a weapon. That's what this thing's for. This is like a last ditch deal. And the way you, it just depends on how you want to hold it. I really don't know that I'd recommend holding it that way. Um, put it here, you know, hands up, you know, pat, pat. I, now, guys, I said this the other day, and I meant it. You know, I know, we joke around and do all that and have fun. Some of this stuff, now, if you pull it, you go into jail. So you might as well go ahead and use it. I mean, that's kind of my theory on it. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you one thing. I'll let you go. All right. Say this is the attacker. He's going to attack me. Scott, I want to attack you. No, he's not. I ain't even hit him hard. See that right there? All over but crap. Now I'm holding this thing, which makes it a little, little, you know, less, whatever it is, more flimsy. And y'all can clearly see the penetration power. You gotta get you one of these. They're not that expensive. I, I wear mine on the inside of my belt, you know, um, you need to get one. Ladies, again, uh, I think 4th of July is a big holiday uh, for buying men knives. Uh, if you want to buy me one, you can. That'd be great. Hey, real quick, this is it, I promise. There's a guy that has a knife channel. His name is Donnie B. All Day. Okay? Donnie B. All Day. Check out his channel. He, now, dude's got a bunch of subscribers. I'm not going to put his name in the, in the title and steal his stuff. You know, we're trying to steal his click. 
that's not what I want to do. But that dude has, has been kind. He's answered any questions that I've had. And I have wore him out. If you know me very well, you know I'll wear somebody out. Donnie B. all day. I like the guy. He's a knife designer. Hey, son, he's a veteran. Okay? Now, this whole community, this knife community, and you say, Scott, you ain't really ain't much on the knife community. Well, we will. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get more into the knives and that kind of thing. But go, go, go check out Donnie. He's a knife maker. Matter of fact, I'm buying one of his knives today. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. And then people over in Nepal will, will, will respond to me. Um, I'm scared. You're not. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do two things on this channel from here forward. I'm going to encourage you. If you have any kind of uh, addiction. I do not believe addiction is a, a disease. Now, now, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not saying... You can just go screw it I'm strong, and walk away from it. It's not what I'm saying. I refuse to give that, I refuse to give any addiction any power, okay? I love you. If you disagree with that, well, you disagree with it. I understand, but it is not a disease, okay? It's something that I will help you with any way I can or to put you some help. That's the first thing. That's why that song Saber is going to play. The second thing is this. 22 veterans every day in this country commit suicide. Folks, That that that's absurd. You hear me? We want to get triggered and mad about all kind of other bullshit. If that don't make you mad, okay? Some of y'all got nothing to do but get mad and walk up and down the road. Well, son, if that don't make you mad and won't you, make you want to walk up and down the road, you need to check your life. That is absurd. So this channel, I don't know what we can do. We'll mention it. I'll go sit by you. If you're a veteran... You listen to me. If you're a veteran, been through hell, I haven't seen the hell you've seen. Okay? I'm not going to pretend I have. That's my son there in the background. I didn't even realize Hunt's picture was up. I mean, I knew it was there, I, you know. But it made me think about it. <clears throat> and, and he's alive. Okay? If you're a veteran and you need somebody to talk to, ring me up. I'll talk to you. Son, I'll get you some help. I promise you that. I give you my word on that. 22 a day. Again, love y'all. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. I, I don't know what I'm saying all that. I'm going to make about 27 more videos. Love y'all. I'm Scab. You're not. Here's Tom McDonald. Tom stepped out for a minute. He'll be right back.